Hi, Spiral Fit friends. I'm Lawrence Biscontini, and I'd like to welcome and introduce my co presenter for this release, Bernadette O'Brien. I call you, what's your nickname? Super Betty. Bernadette, how did you get that name? I got that name because I won the Centrum Vitamins Most Energized Amazing Woman in America. Beating out participants in their 30s, 40s, 50s, 60s, and 70s. For this release, we are going to use the BOSU Balance Trainer, and Bernadette is going to share her story with you how this population can face the number one and number two fear that we have every day as we age gracefully. Bernadette, what's the number one fear that we have? The fear of falling down is our major fear. And number two? Trying to get up again. Right. So you transformed your life in the last two years. If we would rewind the tape, what would we see two years ago? How many pounds of fat were you heavier? 60 pounds heavier. And a smoker. And a smoker. Sedentary lifestyle and? A diabetic. So how did the BOSU Balance Trainer become a part of your life in terms of mobility and stability over the last two years? The BOSU Balance Trainer was used as a major piece of equipment for me to exercise on while I was training with you, Mr. Biscontini. When we look at the floor, is it pretty daunting? For example, say I say walk over here and pick up my water bottle or hinge over and touch the top of the BOSU logo on top of the BOSU Balance Trainer. What seems a little more comfortable or familiar for you? Going all the way down there or just staying up here? Well, this would be much closer to me, so it would be far easier to reach down and touch the BOSU so trainer. So it's closer. I'm going to invite you to just stand there and go and make some taps with your foot all over the BOSU balance trainer. Changing feet, you can keep your hands out to the side. That's just brilliant. And what are you doing when you're doing this? What's the purpose of this kind of a movement, Bernadette? I am pushing down and I am learning how to catch myself. Wonderful. And all BOSU balance trainers may have slight discrepancies in how they're inflated. Isn't that true? Yes, that is true. It's harder if they're softer and it's more beneficial to the aged or the active aging. Uh, if it's inflated. Wonderful. So this is pretty inflated, which is wonderful to show people how they would start. And also, when you're touching the top of the BOSU balance trainer with your feet, you're seeing how it brings the floor up to you, correct? Yes. Let's have you stand behind the BOSU balance trainer. Let's call this position home. Or if this were a clock, you're standing at what time? I'm standing at 12. Absolutely. If you were looking at the clock upside down, if that were 12, where would you be standing looking down at the clock now? Six. Right. So if you change the way you see things, the things you see will change. With the active aging exercise population, my friends, we are rethinking the way we train, and you'll see we are definitely retraining the way we think. So the first exercise I'm going to have you do, my friend, is not really an exercise. They're just movement games. I'm going to do this movement in the air. You're going to use the BOSU balance trainer. We're going to hinge, touching the knees, and then take the hands to that BOSU logo in front, touching all the way to the top of the surface, bring the hands back to the knees, and then come back up and stand. Try that a few more times, Miss Betty. And as you do this, I'm going to invite you to think about contracting the muscles of the pelvic floor. Notice how when she hinges, she hinges over with a very neutral, long and strong back, including the spine, reaching forward, taking the hands back to the knees, and then coming back up. When we're hinging forward, we call this in fitness, hinging forward. Not hard, right? And because the BOSU balance trainer is up there, could I invite you to try something harder? Come a little bit closer, maybe a half inch closer, and when you come down next time, instead of barely touching it with the fingertips, could you actually put some fingertips and start to touch the top of the BOSU balance trainer? Hinging forward, pushing down with your hands, and then coming back up. Notice how she's doing a weight shift, letting her hands bear some of the weight, warming up the shoulders. Just a few more times, I'll count them down for you, maybe 87 more repetitions, <laughs> and then when we get to your age, we can stop. <laughs> we won't count all the way that way, but it wouldn't be very many repetitions we'd have her be doing. Awesome. So you feel the weight shift forward? Yes. The next progression would be to take the hands forward, and I'll show you from the side. When we hinge, hands go forward, heels come off of the floor, then hands come back to the knees and we stand up. So we try that little weight shift as we're starting to do the number one way to go down to the floor.